it is time to braid this hair. And I'm so excited because I haven't had braids since October, which is crazy. I usually do my braids very frequently. I feel like at least once every other month I get braids, whether it's like cornrows or whatever, but I'm about to do some boho braids. So let's get ready. Hair prep. There's just one more thing I gotta do. This video is sponsored by Y Shout out to them for providing the curly hair for this video. So, as you can tell by the title, I'm going to be doing boho braids. And for boho braids, preferably, you wanna use good quality human hair to make it last longer. So, quick unboxing. We have a bag here, has their logo on it. Your hair, your way, why hair? <laughs> the bag comes with the hair itself, and as far as like a little goodie, we have a clip. And this is the hair we are going to be using. There are three bundles here. Guys, I have a boho braid tutorial on my channel already. And to be honest, it's not my fave. It's not my fave and I know why. It's because I didn't use enough hair. I literally used half a bundle for that style and I'll link it so you can see what I'm talking about. Today, my goal is to use all three bundles. And because my parts are gonna be large, we need the volume of the hair to be big. That being said, this is what the hair is looking like. This is what it's feeling like. I like that it's already kind of pre-parted a little bit so I don't have to mess with the curl pattern too much. One thing that I think would be beneficial buying the boho braids rather than cutting an old wig or old tracks like I did previously is that you can skip that step altogether. So I'm gonna take my rat tail comb and see if it's almost like there's a chemical or something here holding the hair together. Because I can't, okay. I guess I just gotta comb it out. So let's quickly do that. Okay. And as I'm combing up the top, what I'm checking for is making sure there aren't any flyaways or like short hair that could kind of get in the way or decrease the volume of the bundle that I'm looking for. So that shows me that this is like thick, 
furrow hair. So without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and prep this and get started on a few braids and show you guys how I plan to do my braids. Okay, I know this looks a little wild right now, but we are trusting the process, okay? We're trusting the process. All right, we've made some progress. It's been one hour and we got two rows. That's, let's see, three plus four, seven braids in one hour. I don't know how to feel about that when I say it like that, but it feels like progress. This is what we're working with. I think that we're doing good. I'll say the first row, I didn't include the curly pieces because I find that at the nape of the neck, that's where you get the most tangling. And I just don't wanna mess with that. And it's like, who's gonna see all the way down there anyway? So typically in the back in general, like the first couple rows, I don't put curly pieces. Um, but because I want this look to be full voluminous since I'm doing large parts, I've started including it back there. So. We're onto our third row. I think we're making decent progress. I'm still getting used to braiding, especially with nails, guys. When I have press-ons, right, typically I would literally just pop them off for the sake of braiding. I'm not even joking with you. Like I would just pop them off right now because I can't braid with nails. It's just not something that I have mastered doing, but these are gel -X, so I'm not able to pop them off as I would like to. So anyway, I'm gonna quickly show you how I've been doing the braids here in the corner and then just give more examples as I'm getting through the rest of my head. So y'all have seen me do this before, right? I don't know if this is really gonna be a braiding tutorial. It's more so like showing how I'm doing the buckle, but real quick, I like to grab a piece there. I'm right-handed, so I take my right hand to add the extensions. So. First piece I'm adding in, I go like this and then I put it under my index finger and let this fall into the middle. And then I take this, I don't think you guys are gonna, I'm gonna have to show you a few times for you to get it. And then I keep braiding until I'm back in my original position. And I take another piece do the same thing. Like I put one strand under my index finger and let this be like on the middle strand. And then I braid and I go into the next braid. And then this is the third piece. So I start off with three up top and then I add throughout the length of the braid as I'm going. I don't think this is gonna be my best work, I'm not gonna lie, it feels a little loose. Those, actually, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. But the nails are really getting in my way, not gonna lie. Okay, so I try not to go too far before I add the first piece of boho braid. So I kind of do this, a similar thing. I add and I just start braiding. Okay, start braiding. You want to do a few before you then section this away. And I like to clip up, you see? I like to clip it away and then keep braiding, right? And because again, these are large parts, I want it to be very full. I am going to add about three, three curly pieces to the length of the hair. So at this point where we've gone like, what's that, like two inches or so? Where we've gone like two inches down, this is the point where I would add the next piece. So, and it helps. I put some gel at the tip to keep the hair from having like too much flyaways. So, you also saw how I just added that in, right? <laughs> I hope you did. <laughs> okay, and then at this point, kind of do the same thing, put it away and keep braiding. Now, you'll see that my braid looks like it's about to end. And that's just not gonna work because you see the length of the back. So what we have to do at this point is add more hair extension, right? We're gonna add more hair extension, then we'll add the final curly piece. So to do that, I'm taking another piece of hair. This is kind of like I, the size that I have parted out. And I just add it the same way I've been adding the curly pieces. Braid a little bit. Then I add the second bit. Actually, let me braid a little bit further before I add the second bit because, 
Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes it's like each braid can be a little different than the rest. And I add a second piece and then braid down a little bit so I can gauge where this third piece is gonna go. I think right here is good. I take the third piece, add it in. I hope y'all can see. Okay, so now I have enough hair to get the length that I'm desiring, but guess what? We still gotta add another curly piece. Now, another thing to consider is as you're braiding the curly pieces in, you might come to a point where it starts to stick out a little bit. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, you can see that, right? Like, you see that piece sticking out? I keep a, a pair of scissors handy to just trim those off as I'm going because it's a lot, it feels tedious when you're done braiding and you have to go through each braid and cut off those pieces that are sticking up. So I try to tackle them as I'm going. Let's see. Oh, there goes 74. Okay. Oh, you don't care to see what I'm doing. This looks insane. <laughs> I'm like low key. <sighs> Like really, it's 10 p.m. and this is where I'm at. That's crazy, and it's a Wednesday night. I don't think I'm going to bed tonight. I do think I have a lot of energy because I had coffee this morning. This is one braid. You see how full and luscious that looks? I love it, I love it. So, on to the next one. strategy a little bit towards the top because I'm noticing that like there's more body along the lengths and not really up top and so what I need to do is I'm probably gonna start adding four curly pieces per braid and I'm gonna add the first curly piece like right at the root, right at the very start of the braid and I'll show you what that might look like but you know what? So far, so good. I'm happy with the progress. I'm just not happy with the fact that I'm doing this this late at night. I can't even tell you what time it is right now because it's kind of embarrassing. Kind of embarrassing. Going out with sections. And let me get the first part. I'm trying to do brick method again to hide parts and whatnot. It's kind of a small brick. I'm going to have to do it like here. I think. Oh, that's not straight. This is always where it gets 
challenging. Um, but it's okay, you know what? It's a front braid, you need it to be full, whatever. Yeah, it's not really laying right with the brick method, but it's okay. So we're gonna do first braid. The first part. And the second one, curly piece. At this point. So you go straight, curly, straight, skip, straight. And it gives you the same result, but with a curly piece very early on in the braid. Nice. Yeah, so that's how I'm going to do the rest of um, up top here. So that I can maintain fullness towards the top of the hair. And then even at this point, I will add another curly piece. to show you guys the final look and don't worry I'll show you the full length in just a second but these are what these braids are looking like I love them and the curly pieces feel soft this is actually day three of me wearing this hair um I have to say these are probably the best boho braids I have ever done on myself like they're large parts right but the fullness with the curly pieces and the, the juxtaposition, the placement in that, it eats. It eats. <laughs> so I'm very, very pleased with the outcome. Shout out again to Y Wigs for sponsoring this video and providing the curly pieces. They feel very soft. I've added some mousse to it to add more definition. Um, again, this is day three and it still looks good. I'm not feeling any tangling just yet. Tangling is inevitable though. So as long as you stay ahead of it, try to add some product, brush it out a little bit or comb it out a little bit from time to time to minimize the knotting, you should be good. Um, and honestly, when it starts to dread and when it starts to knot, I don't mind. Like I think it gives that like, um, it gives that like dreaded look. It gives that dreaded effortless look. So I actually don't mind the nodding too much. But these are the braids, guys. I love them. They look so good. 
good. And I can smell the wow. <sighs> Guys, more happy. <laughs> and then of course, you know, if I don't want to do a middle part, I can do a side part like so. And the hair, again, it looks so full. So let me give you a full view, a full look of these braids. Let's go.